Hello everybody and welcome back to Purple Plays The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode we did, I believe, seven whole shrines comprised of around this whole entire area. Uh, some longer than others. Obs. <clears throat> and uh, then before the part ended we upgraded our health by three more hearts. And in this episode... And we're going to try and finish up the rest of the remaining shrines. So without further ado, I teleported to uh, the Elden Tower. And we're going to take a glide over here. Toward that one. But we're not going to go to that tower. Now what we're going to do is just have a nice old glide. Look at the luminous stones and the guardians and the hot water and just keep going as we watch the sunrise because it's 3.35 a.m. Okay, so we passed the checkpoint. I just wanted to use that as a way of signaling where to go. Crap, is it? Or what? Oh, it's right here. And if you look down... You'll find it in next to this area. Not too hard to find. Just tucked away in a little crevice. Or I I don't think it's a crevice, but you know what I mean. It's tucked away <clears throat> pretty low. But if you go near the the little enemy base, you should be able to find it. The power of fire. That reminds me, I did buy some arrows off screen. Not a whole bunch, but what I found in Kakriko Village. Okay. Oh. Neat. Not neat. And with that, burn ourselves a pathway. this piece of shit. I'm not gonna bother taking his uh, weapon. And we're gonna cut this down. If I could... I think the sensitivity on my thing is off. There we go. Seriously, what the hell? Try turning it and it won't turn until I'm like halfway through. Yeah, it's like on the right side, it won't turn. Please tell me that dropped somewhere. No. I'm like, just. Seriously, why is it doing that? That's gonna bother the hell out of me. Okay, so... I think we can just... Yeah, we can just use this. But I don't want to do that. I think you have to burn the right ones. Oh, it's a three shot. No wonder why I didn't drop anything. I think you can burn the rope itself. Let me try that. I was wondering why it's stuck like that. Nope, you can't burn the rope, so... I don't even need to burn that down. Oh. 
That would just be a waste. Just like that chest is, in my opinion. Alright, so one down. Nine to go. So, where should I head to next? Yeah. I think I have my sky, uh, not my sky loft, um, my loft wing outfit on, so we're going to head into some colder territory now. I will be right over here, I think. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to be right here. I think I picked the right one. Don't know. I'm not good in the winter weather. Despite me loving winter weather, I just can't deal with uh, the fog. It's too hard to see. And <clears throat> doing some math, I feel like we're not going to have enough to get all the uh, hearts, which is a really odd uh, thing. I would think that you'd be able to get enough for all the stamina and the hearts, but <clears throat> when you complete all the shrines, but I don't think you can. I think you have to swap between uh, stamina and hearts um, when you see the cursed uh, statue thing. So at least he serves a purpose at endgame, but I mean, you know. Okay. This, let's see, which one was it? I... All right, if I remember correctly, this one's a little bit of an ass, but this one, not so much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pin that, because that's the one we're going to go to first. The second one I'll discuss when we get there, because that one is such a pain. Uh, am I even going to make it? I'm not going to make it. Of course not. What was I thinking? Alright, so let's just get past this mountain, please. I just got the weirdest memory just now for no reason. Uh, I guess while I'm here I'll just say like a little bit of a story. Has anybody watched the Amanda show? Okay, 90s kids watching this. Yeah, you ever seen the Amanda show or do you remember it? Or is there or does the new generation have some taste? <laughs> well, the Amanda show wasn't always great, but it was all right. But um, the reason why I'm asking is because like I'm remembering one uh <clears throat> one skit that uh always appeared on almost every episode, I think. It was not really the same skit, but it's like kind of in a relation uh when amanda played her number one fan penelope tate i think was her name was when i was younger i always called her penelope taint like taint as in the asshole and it, it, that thought just occurred to me for no reason like why do i always call her taint i think it's because of the way that she pronounced it but it was so odd now that I think about it, and I'm surprised I didn't get in trouble for when I said it to people, but then again, I, might, I mainly talked to kids around my age who probably didn't even know what a taint was, so that's understandable, but I think if I were to say it to an adult, uh, they'd probably get mad at me. I mean, there was one time when uh, I asked my grandpa and my dad when I was a lot younger <clears throat> what did prick mean because some chef in Grand Theft Auto Vice City called me a prick in one of the early missions. So I asked him what does prick mean and then I got in trouble for it. But my dad told me that uh, a while ago, it's been a long time ago, um, he told me that it like was another word for bitch or something. Could be wrong on that. 
Man, we could be wrong on the definition, but that's how I kind of treat it. I guess it would be the same. I don't know. I can always look it up, but it was such an odd memory. But anyways, we've arrived at our second shrine of the day, Red Giveaway. Okay, a little mouse trap of sorts. So let's see how this fares. Okay, well already this looks very simple. to do is just move this right here and didn't I do this already like wasn't there another one that was the exact same thing yeah the only true part of this puzzle, never mind, I was about to say, the only true part of this puzzle is that, um, is that I gotta just time when that platform is going to be there. That's not the case. And I probably timed it wrong. Ugh. I think I did it too. Yep, I did it too late. Damn it. It like goes in and out a little faster than I predict, so I should do it while it's out. Then it'll go in, then it'll go back out. Okay, fine. I tried to do it like that the first time. Or the last time before that. I mean, I could always do it from over there, but the issue is, is that I won't be able to block it in time with that. I think I got it this time. Move, 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 move. Oh, come the hell on! Yeah, I could always put it in stasis, but I'd rather time it. By not timing it at all. Okay, got it, got it. What the fuck? Wait a minute. Why don't I just do this? I know I'm doing it the long way, but I just want to try something. <laughs> ah, sweet. Oh, I thought it would just been a hell of a lot more tedious. Okay, that's metal. 
Okay, so why don't I just drop this right here? Oh, no, 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 okay. Nope, not yet. Not yet. I'm gonna drop you right here. Let me go ahead and grab this. Get this out of the way. Kick it while it's somewhere in the air. Oh, don't care. Just in case I have to do it like this. I'm just gonna drop you out. Yeah, so what's stopping me from doing it like this? get what stopped me from doing it like that so this whole mouse trap thing is pointless when you can just push it in whenever you want hey if I could find an easier to exploit I will I mean I don't mind doing it the right way but I also don't mind doing it the wrong way either it just shows that there's a flaw in some of their uh, little tests that's just like Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, when I uh, play Sonic's crazy gadget level, I think it is. Uh... It's the one where at the end there's those multicolored blocks with the gravitational uh, switches. You're supposed to go on each one of them and go through a set path, sort of, to um, activate the switching. <clears throat> and blow the rocket gate up so that you can um let me get rid of that red beacon so that you can make it to the goal ring i don't do that because i never i only done it once what i do is i go on the purple one and then i go on then i jump to the red block and then i go down to where the missile should be but it's not and then i jump over the spring that Oh. Okay. And then I jump over the spring that will take you to the beginning so you can restart it if you uh, go through prematurely. And I land on the purple one again, but on the railing. And what I do is I bounce onto the gravitational switch that's hanging on the side. And then um, I bounce on that and hit the switch to activate the missile. And then I jump onto the spring that resets me back to the beginning do all of it again go on and uh hit the missile and then clear the level i don't go on any of the other blocks not the blue one or the green one or the yellow one i only hit the purple and the red <laughs> and i've never seen anyone else do it um if i do a playthrough which i probably will eventually um i'll show that off and I only do it because that's the only way I really know how to do it. I mean, I could probably figure it out if I just take my time. But when you're playing a Sonic game, you really don't want to take your time. You want to just go fast. <clears throat> but even then, you have to pay attention every now and then. And that's why I don't like the classic Sonic games. But that's mainly because I also suck at them. So, bit of bias... I don't know. I don't really play Sonic games. At all. Ever. There's Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Heroes, and I played Shadow the Hedgehog, and I'm still playing Sonic 06. We'll get more into that in the future. Anyways, if I am correct, and I probably am, yes, this part was really, really dumb. Okay, so this is another of those sliding, um, those snow <clears throat> um, boulder areas. This one's a little clever, though, because you want to throw it from here. 
However, there's this pit that's right over here that they're just gonna fall and break in. However, what you can do is activate cryonis because there's a little bit of water in there. All you need to do is just activate two cryonis and boom. You have an instant platform that will roll all the way down here, build up more. Come on. I didn't even know you guys were down here. But anyways, it'll build up um, some more snow and it'll break this door. Now, this door leads into a cave that not only houses this shrine, but it also houses a um, side quest, which is where, if I could find it, um, I'm just like kind of going through. We'll house this Leviathan skeleton. So I took a picture of it, but I haven't completed the quest yet. I'll probably do that in a minute. So you'll go through here. You'll find the Leviathan um, skeleton. I just kind of like was going down here. I'm like, okay, finally, there's the shrine. And then I just saw this thing. I'm like, wait a minute. Is this it too? And yes, it was. The reason why this thing is a bitch is because let's say you did what I did and you start checking again from hit this area. You start going around, oh wait, the shrine uh, sensor's going off. So you figure, okay, it should be right over here or the entrance should be right over here. You might have to blow it up with a bomb arrow. I spent 45 minutes, may maybe more or less, going through this whole area up and down this whole entire area looking for a way in I couldn't find one <clears throat> and it was confusing because this is where um, I found out that the higher you are the less the sensor the, bleh, the less the sensor will get because eventually I started climbing to the top of the mountain um, but as I was descending it got stronger but I could never find it <clears throat> when I went higher it would then it, yeah when I went higher it would go back up again but then it would just die out so I kept figuring it would go lower and lower and lower and eventually I just kept falling into a bottomless pit that's over here so eventually I gave up around here and I thought okay well I'll just climb to see if there's a way over and re realize that the lighter it gets the higher it is in altitude this is like the highest peak of the herba summit so i had to go around here and i had to look around and the entrance is like right here or something like that it's right here and then that's when you get in through there as you can see so this was one of the biggest pains in the asses I had to find but I eventually found it I mean not only did I have trouble finding it I just had trouble getting to it because again it took me a while to figure out that puzzle out there until I remembered hey that's right I can use cryonis on even shallow puddles of water didn't take me too long but long enough all for a throwaway shrine which honestly I'm not too mad at this time because this one was just stupid too bad you gave me a dumb weapon maybe if this one was breaking but no just no I believe that makes a total of three shrines already Yep, three shrines, seven to go. And only 24 minutes in. Take what you will, if that good or bad. I find that as it could do better. Oh, 
All right, so with that all done, I'm going to swing by over here and complete the Leviathan quest. Oh, hey, Beetle. That's right. Yeah. You should always dress for the weather. Okay, so you even have warm darners. Those darn warners. Wow. I'll take all the arrows you have. Wow. Oh, I'll take all your bugs, too. Aren't they supposed to be here? Or am I I might have picked the wrong area too. Wrong thing. Side quest. Where is it? Leviathan bones. Yep. It's this one over here. Damn it. Oh well, there's a shrine next to it anyway, so. I would have been around there anyways. I just wasted two minutes, three minutes. All right. Manya Toma Shrine. Go ahead and just do this quest real quick since I've already completed the task. And while we're there, we'll go ahead and grab a horse. <clears throat> that way I don't have to walk all the way to the other shrine. Although it is on a mountain, I can at least ride my way over there first. Might find a Yiga clan member around here. I wouldn't doubt it, honestly. Take these Endura Shrooms. Can use that for later. Did they move out here? Got it right here, guy. This is the one. Amazing! It's as if I'm seeing the real thing. This is precisely the evidence I needed to prove the Leviathan went extinct due to harsh ice change. Please help my other brothers out along yeah. the way. Maybe that I might just die out due to global. Please help my bro or my colleagues out. And you're the only other one I haven't helped. All right. And you wanted to prove what? Ah. This is wonderful. You drew this. With this, I'll finally be able to prove that the Leviathan went extinct as a result of massive volcanic eruption. Ah, uh, you got pictures of all three Leviathan skeletons? My thanks. Here's your reward. Gold rupee, 100 foot of each. I shall conduct further research on my hypothesis while making careful study of your picture. Yeah, you go play with yourself. Beetle! No, I'll never die to see you here. I'm assuming all of them are different. Although you're selling the same stuff that the last one sold. Only you restocked on arrows, which is what I want. I selling fireflies just like I predicted in uh well I think I predicted it. 
back when I was hunting for them, but then again, I just found plenty of them in Kakariko. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me get a horse out. Let's see, Monty Dew, Soggy, Grim, Seven Up. I'll take Grim out, why not? Board up uh, the other. Uh, hey. Yes, I'm aware. And I'm also aware I can be doing that one trick <clears throat> with the uh, whistle glitch. Oh, great. a house of, or a, like a flock of uh, keys. Come on, Grim. Don't be an asshole. See, if I remember correctly, this one was also like, for lack of a better term, on the ground level. The goblins are here. I think I can make it up here. Yeah, actually, I think it was on the ledge, or no, no, that I think it was in the mountain, and I had to blow it up. A lot of these I had to blow up. I remember that much. Yeah, because I took a horse here too, and it was like stuck on the thing. Yeah, it was right in here, right where this little enemy camp is. I remember now. All right, so let's go on in. Is this another throwaway? It is. Another throwaway shrine. How lovely. Oh, but you have a metallic treasure chest with rupees. I'm wondering if uh, if it's a metallic, would that mean that it has a material or rupees inside? And if it's non-metallic, would it have equipment or weaponry? I'm wondering on that now. That would be interesting. So, uh, there's actually another one that's uh, relatively close, and then another one to that. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off of the mountain, <clears throat> if I can anyways, and um, yeah, turn, turn, there we go. Come on, Grim. Nope, backwards. Oh, fine, just turn. Okay, so I 
think, let's see, I can go through here and then all I need to do is just jump. Ooh, more horses. It's hard to see what their color is in the dark. Ooh, there's a purple one. Screw it. I can probably find a purple one uh, later on off screen. I'll have to check. Yeah, you go wait there. What I'm going to do is... Just gonna fly down. Because it is in this canyon. It's in this canyon, I know that much. <clears throat> because again, while I was just gliding about, I saw this orange hue and then... <clears throat> well, I saw the shrine thing going off and then I just saw an orange hue at the bottom. Orange hue, orange light, whatever. You know what I mean. You know, I kind of thought it would be a little closer. I guess not. It's like tucked away in here. You have to view it from like right there and that's where I was. As you can see. Okay, so with that... We'll take on another one and I'm pretty sure this will just be a regular trial. I actually didn't read that, I was looking at something else for a second. Oh, I wonder how this is supposed to go. Ha! charge time. That ought to do it. Seriously? Ah, I hate this charge time. Oh, slowly getting pushed in. Come on. No, oh, come on. It's got to like push it in just enough. Okay, that one has to work. Ah! There we go. Seriously, the ball is a little wonky. It's like, sometimes it goes off the curb and sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so I gotta make this fall, I guess. Okay, how hard can that be? Uh, 
How hard can that be? Okay. Great Thunderblade. And that still kind of helps, if I'm being honest. My question is, do I still need this? Nope, I can just leave that open because there's no way it's getting out of here. At least I don't think, and even if it does, meh. Okay, there's like a whole bunch to this area. So let's see what I can do. I think I had to just use these and <clears throat> uh Yep, that ain't working. Oh, they just dropped more. Okay, cool. Make sure this is set right. I could use the club, but I don't really want to damage it. So far, I'm not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Can't tell how close I am to hitting it if I'm even hitting it at all. Okay, there we go. Guess I just need to angle it a little better. Don't know. Don't care either. Falcon bow. Don't care for it. <clears throat> so I suppose I'm supposed to do this too. But just like the other, I want to get it from the bottom. So we're gonna set it right. We were gonna set it right there. Now, we're gonna set it right here. Okay, well, that did absolutely nothing. Oh. Okay. That'll work. For some reason, I thought I was making a bridge to go over there, and I forgot all about that switch. Okay, well, good thing I just went ahead and did what was normal. Oh, well. That wasn't too bad. I'm just wasting more time. Oh, 
All right, so. Now with that done, we're gonna head over to this one over here. that all set just going to no ah, oh, damn it well still doing what I wanted to do which is glide just wanted to get a little more height I guess because I probably I'm not gonna make it I can still try and go for that over there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and go for that over there. Not the best, but it'll work. I probably would have made it if I didn't uh, lose my footing there. Really wish I could ride the moose. All right. Not gonna kill your friend unless he tries to charge at me. That's what I thought. Your friend got off easy. <clears throat> but you made the right call. Okay, I remember this one. Alright, so this one I don't know how to approach without getting hurt. Because in cold water, well, should be obvious, it's cold. <laughs> you will get hurt a lot in fact this is how i found out that there's actually just as much as there is a uh a temperature that's so hot that you will catch fire there is a temperature that's so cold you will freeze and this would be it so i think i actually know how to get through this what i need is a cryonis and does it no it doesn't move damn Actually, I, s I thought I would be able to make something. I want to try and see if I can make something to where I won't get hurt. Okay, so all I need to do is just make it through here. Yeah. There we go. I don't know if this is the, like, right way. This is just my way of doing it. There we go. And yeah. But last time I went in here, I literally just swam through the current, and I took so much damage. So just do what I did and climb the wall as best you can. I don't really want to take much damage. And then, uh, yeah. Wonder if that's a way you can do it. Use that log to just ride the current out. That might be a way, but I like the way I just did it. But I don't know if there's any trees that you can knock over to make a little raft for yourself. Would be some interesting thinking at the very least. And another throwaway shrine, it looks like. Yep. The nose coos. Weapon? Nope. Okay, so it doesn't matter what kind of chest it is. Just some are metal, some are not.
one second. I'm not gonna edit that out, I just wanted to check something. Anyways, uh, we only have four more shrines to go. I don't think we'll be able to make all of them, but I would really hope so. Seriously, all this shrine stuff, it's a lot more time consuming than I gave it credit for. Ugh, that's annoying, honestly. Because I just want to finish it and even when I found all of them they're still taking up quite a bit of time but just all together at least oh well I might be able to work something out or maybe I just might put this uh, <clears throat> this episode into overtime because I really really would love to uh, just complete what's left all right, so I'm heading the right way. Oh yeah, this one was like on the edge of the world. I mean, you can't get past that uh, <clears throat> that hill over there, for lack of a better word. That's basically a wall, a boundary, if you will. That's why I call this one the world's end. Because it's literally at the edge of the uh, cliff, more or less. I don't think you have to bomb this one. I could be mistaken. I don't remember very well. Or was it part of like a bit of a puzzle? I don't... Uh, I'll figure it out when I get here. No, wait. I just want to ruin their day. Oh, no! I wanted to drop that on them. Ah. Uh, I still didn't get it though, so I'm mad. Anyways, it's right over here. Oh, and there's a little smoke plume, I think. Nope, that's just cloud. Uh, let's see, we have some luminous stone I think there was another word for him but I don't remember I just call them ores I think it was guarded by a block no no that's right it had a um a black slab that you had to use stasis to knock off and then it's in here that's right so when you see a black slab just go ahead and knock that off with stasis uh, momentum and boom. Free shrine at the world's end. At least this one won't be a throwaway. Wind guide. Oh goody. Are you gonna give me a Korok leaf? I swear if you do. How did I figure? Oh, whatever. Okay, so what am I supposed to do with this? I guess I just have to bring it with me. I mean, if it's supposed to help with these guys, I don't really need it. Never mind. I might need it. Okay, I don't need it. I just need to vent. Because you guys are just ruining my time. Can't carry any more melee weapons. I don't want any more melee weapons. Well, it 
reset for me? Yes, it will. Come on. I like this puzzle. It's uh, cool. It reminds me a little bit of um, Wind Waker, where you have to use the um, the Deku Leaf in certain instances in order to uh, navigate certain puzzles, like um, like when you're going across poisonous waters, um, and you have to go on like lily pads or whatever. Is it gonna blow up? Nope. That's what this is for. Okay. And then boom. Oh, okay. We're doing this now. Woo! And this is a long one. I'm surprised. Okay, so my question is, what's that one for? I guess maybe if I fall, I can come back from it. I don't know how high it goes, though. And then that would defeat the purpose of this. Unless... It has something. Oh, this is fun. Oh, there's a little chest over there. I kind of don't want to get it, though, unless it's the key. But I think that's what this one is. So go ahead and just... Oh, stop it. I want to go over there now. Come on. There we go. Ugh, all right. Giant ancient core, so not what I'm looking for. Oh no, you don't. Don't pop, don't pop, don't pop. Wow. Those are some sturdy balloons. Unless it's over here, in which case... Come on. <laughs> yep, because one finally popped. <laughs> and now... Alright. Jeez, how much more of this? I think this is just a. Uh... Okay, what's that for? <laughs> it's like, jeez, come on. When will it end? Can't really go much further, I don't think. Okay. Well, there's that, so I guess it's for that. Uh, how the hell should I know? I mean, do I really need this? See, I wonder. I never thought of charging it. Hey, you know what? Screw this. Just gonna blow it up. In fact, would that mean I could have just spared myself all that time if I knew about it? That's why I like these savage, uh... these savage Lionel bows because they shoot three and it only cost me one all right this must be the key all right okay so 
So what I want to do is I want to go down all the way here and get this chest. That was the most awkward uh, place I could have landed. Ooh, a forest dollar sword. Well, I don't think I need this anymore, so I'm going to just drop it. Watch, I then need it. <laughs> Which I think I do. No, no, I don't. I don't need it. I like the Forest Dweller Swords. It's really strong. Yeah, because I can just use the wind. And then just go over here. Right. Oh, there's another chest. Man, this is a very interesting uh, shrine. Thunder Spear has durability up, but then again, this is two-handed, but it's weak to fire. And I do like my elemental uh, weapons. Okay, so here we go. And done. That was a pretty lengthy one, if I say so myself, and I do, because no one else is talking. <sighs> I only got three more. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to go overtime, because I want to finish this off. finish this off and then finally move on so yeah we're gonna hit into overdrive maximum overdrive so let's see if we can speed this up we have three shrines I'm gonna go with this one and then the other one and then well the other one being the Garuda desert well I'm going with the ones that take the longest to get to I'm not saying that this one's gonna take long, but it could, depending on where it was, because I don't remember. I should go ahead and put sensors on these. That way, well, just the two, because I don't know how long it'll take me. The desert one, I think, is actually the longest because it's not so much that it's hard to get to, it's just it takes forever because of the sand seals. And then this one. I think the Mulduga had respawned. Ah, oh, shit, I remember. Well, at least I have Rivali's Gale, so this shouldn't be too hard. Oof. Right, the time I try and put in a maximum overdrive and I have to deal with this crap yeah not gonna deal with you sir kind of wish the cold wasn't a factor otherwise I'd just keep my uh, street clothes climbing clothes on then the snow boots that way I could run better but I want to keep this on to avoid having to fight everything. Not that I dislike fighting, it's just, you know. Okay, that's all the way over there. I can probably use Revali's Gale to get over here. And then I don't need Revali's Gale for the desert, so... I just need it for those two places. Ah! It's really tough to break out of ice. Meant to use Revali's Gale and didn't do it. I'll do it this time. The hell is all this stuff? Boxes? Neat. Oh god. Hey, he did it, I didn't. 
Did they just shoot him? And where'd this wind come from? Oh, there you are. You guys are assholes. Well, first just help me out of a tight squeeze right there. Which wasn't really much of a tight squeeze, it was just meh. Um, okay, so this one is actually in plain sight. The issue with it is that it's frozen. You have to defrost this shrine in order to, well, see it. You'll be able to tell because it's, uh, it's a giant glob of, giant block of ice. Like, it'll stick out, it's just, you know, you have to defrost it before it'll start glowing. And then you got these two assholes that are guarding it, too. Hello, goodbye. Not gonna bother with you. Remember, fire will melt these guys in an instant. In an instant. Okay, melting ice hazards. Okay, offer before me a block of ice. Only then will the path forward open. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Stasis work on these things, it will not. So, can't let this get too close. Alright. Doesn't look like it's decreasing. Okay, that time it did. Okay, I can jump with this. <sighs> All right. Okay, so this looks like a job for you. Oof. Aren't you a warm bastard? Good thing that the metal doesn't uh, heat up to melt it sooner. Okay, so I'm gonna just put you right there. Blade. Worthless. Waste of time. I should just stop going after the chest because they're just a waste of time for me. Well, at least this thing's not melting. Let's see. I wonder... Let me put this down. Can I stasis this? I can. And then just open a path. All right. Just keep that there and boom. Good thing this doesn't break. All right, I offered you a block of ice. Go pick it up now. <laughs> All 
right, only two left. All right, just two left. Two left. All right, so let's go ahead and head over to Gerudo Town. And since it's nighttime, the clothing is still appropriate because it's cold at night in the desert. This one might be a throwaway shrine because of what I had to do in order to uh, activate it, which is fight the Molduga, the giant sandworm thing. Oh wait, no, it's daytime here. Does that mean that it's different time? I have no idea. Don't care. Okay, so I grew to town. Yes, you're bushed. You're George Bush. No one talks about him and all his bull. Okay, so I'm just gonna climb up here and tame. Okay. Now we're just gonna head over here. What's that? Wait, where are you going? Oh, it's a cactus. Yeah, again, the biggest issue is that it takes forever because these guys, despite dashing all the time, are very slow. So enjoy the ride, folks. At least the dash is, like, long enough. The other thing is that you have to, uh... Uh, go around this area because they don't just jump off or anything. And this has a bit of a, like, a small cliff. That's why I said you have to go around it, otherwise... Uh... You'll have to just walk there. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. But, um... Still the worst thing in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, you do. You have to. Um, you just be a bit, yeah, a disadvantage fighting this giant asshole. Oh, well, I have a spare, so I'll go ahead and fight you, you little bastard. Oh god. Oh no you don't. Come on. I don't even remember how to fight this guy. I think you have to... Okay. I didn't expect that. Come on, you little bastard. I think you have to make him hit a rock or something. Oh, no, 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 no. Or maybe I have to hit him with a bomb, I think. Is that it? Nope. 
I don't remember how to fight this thing. And I'm dying because of the heat. Okay, so that's nice to note. Get some heat resistance. Okay, if he could just stop doing that. There we go, much better. Nope, you're not going back in there. Oh, he's got little feet. Seriously, I don't remember how to fight this thing. Oh yeah, he drops chest, that's right. Oh, I don't have any heat resistance still. Come on. Guess it's only one level of it. Screw it. I'm not gonna be out here all day anyways. Royal Halberd. Okay, fine. Out of here. Has a longer throw. You. Royal Bow. There. <laughs> it's like there. Okay, um... All my Savage Lionel bows are good now, so... Alright, let's go ahead and head in. Before I die of heat exhaustion. Which is just dumb. And I was corrected to throw away shrine. I could have saved like five minutes just going inside. Okay, that was weird. A golden bow. Oh, good. But I already had the royal one, which is even more gold. Just like my PS4. It's gold. Yep, alright. One final trial after this, and then. Put this to a close. Yes, the goddess will always smile upon me. One more. And then only one more, and then I can redeem all my spirit orbs too. Neat. And this is really going into overtime. Oh well. So all I need to do is just head over here. At least with the uh, lack of health, I'll still be able to use Mipha's Grace to its fullest abilities too. With it giving me a full recovery plus extra heart if uh, it doesn't fill out all the way, which it probably won't. Oh yeah, this is where uh, the others were. Okay, so I just have to get past this area. Yeah, this is where I first started after I found all the uh, shrines. Full circle, isn't it? Well, whatever. Finally take this stuff off. Besides, I'd rather be in my uh, classic attire while doing this. Also, off screen, I got more stuff um i got the stealth um the stealth chest guard and the head part uh the stealth mask just to have it it might come in handy i've seen a whole bunch of people use it to much better potential than i ever could but 
stealth hasn't been too much of an issue with me. I'm looking at you, uh... Whatchamahoots it? Yiga Fortress. That was not very, uh... That wasn't very challenging for me. Ooh, a Hinox! I think we can do a little detour. So yeah, it's down under the bridge. Guarded by the troll of the bridge. Ah, there we go. Gonna just keep poking you in the ass. for me. Although it doesn't look like you have anything good. So I'll just take what you drop in guts. Alright. Now for the final shrine. Let's not waste any more time than I already have. Behold, my final test is a test of strength, and a minor one at that. I'm just gonna go in like this. the time. And with that, this will end all 120 shrines. Let's get our last chest if necessary. Ancient core, always nice. And let's talk to our final monk. I'm not going to skip the one for this, just in case there should be some dialogue for it, but uh, we'll see. Your triumph over the test of strength subverts the prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. And yes, I bestow upon you the spirit orb. Yeah, I'm just let the cutscene play out. You have at last conquered all of our trials. Okay, so this is new. Having fulfilled our purpose, we monks bestow upon you this, the warrant of the true hero. You must now depart for the Forgotten Temple. A gift from the monks. Okay. May the goddess smile upon you. I. The Forgotten Temple. Didn't we run into a place called the Forgotten Temple? Let me check the map real quick. I think I know what they're talking about. Uh, would it be this place? No, not not that place. Uh, shit, it was like right around here. Here it is. Yeah, Forgotten Temple. Boom, right there. Okay. Wasn't there a shrine in there? Or, yeah, the, yeah, it's right here. Okay, so let me just travel there. They said that they left something, I think. I'll check it, or whatever. How'd you automatically restore some health when you fall in battle? Ooh. I should end it right now, but we'll see what this leads to. So 
test the warrant of a true hero. Okay. Have her you know, where the oldest statue of the goddess stands to see what they have left you. So I'm looking for a goddess statue. Well, wow. okay. Oh, oh. I don't think these were here before. I would have opened them otherwise. So what's in here? There's three chests. Oh. Oh. So this is where you get the tunic. They said in the, <clears throat> that in the game there was a tunic for uh, Breath of the Wild. But they never said how to unlock it. So this is how you unlock it. You have to complete all the shrines. Cap of the Wild. According to legend, this cap was crafted for a hero who travels the wild lands. Wearing it just feels so right. Tunic of the Wild. This armor was apparently crafted for a hero who travels the wilds. Strangely enough, it's just your size. Do I have a stalker in the form of the goddess Hylia? Trousers of the Wild. Legends say these pants were tailored for a hero who travels the wilderness. Strangely enough, they're the most comfortable pair of pants you've ever worn. And that's their gift. The tunic. I don't know why they couldn't just give it to me. But whatever. Let's see. They're just 1% better than the other tunics. Like in terms of uh, defense. Huh. No special abilities that I'm aware of. It looks nice though. Um, so if this is supposed to be this Link's tunic, it's more reminiscent of Zelda 1. However, you can get Zelda 1's tunic. It's a little better in my opinion, just a little though. Because I'm not a fan of like half sleeves. Where it's like, it's not a full long sleeve, but it's not a short sleeve either. That just bothers the hell out of me. At least this is consistent. This one's all right too. Um, I'm gonna stick with my regular attire because I'm purple. I don't like the trousers either, they're just meh. But the hat is always nice. Let's see, this is Cap of the Wind. This one, wait, I have two Cap of the Winds. Huh, why do I have that? I'll have to sell one, I guess. And then Cap of the Wild. It's nice, I'll give it that much. Could have sworn I had uh, the uh, tunic of the hero. I wonder if you can customize it at the very least. That would be a nice feature. I'll try it out some other time. I'm going with the Hylian hood and this is my regular attire. But with that, that takes care of all 120 shrines. We finally did it, but we still have one extra trial left thanks to the DLC. So next time on Purple Place of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we're going to take on the Trial of the Sword. And then after that, we're going to Endgame. I'll see you guys next time.